Hey buddies, what's up? PC Mentor is here and welcome to my YouTube channel. I hope you are doing well. Today video is about how we can optimize Bluestacks for the best performance. If you are using Bluestack and you experience some sort of lagging while playing the game. So in this video, I will demonstrate two methods for low end PC and high end PC as well. So before I get started, I am going to show you my computer properties and here we go. As you can see, I am using Core i5 1.9 to 2.5 GHz processor and my install RAM is 8 GB. We will be going to assign NOC simulator resources according to the hardware available on our PC. And here, as you can see, the number of cores are 2 and 4, the logical cores. We will be going to assign the resources to NOC simulator according to available resources of our hardware. Click on the settings. Here we go. The first setting is of the graphics. Here they said the recommending settings for me is this. If you are using low end PC then you must select this option. If you are having the graphic card then you must go ahead and select that. Here is the DPI dot per inch. The recommended one is the middle one for me. If you are using low end PC then you must select this option. Apart from that if you are using high end PC you can increase the number of graphics and DPI as well. I hope you understand the way that how we can fix the graphic settings for low end PC and high end PC. If still you have any question about this let me know in the comment section. Now here we have the engine settings, the graphic engine modes. You have to choose between either compatible or performance modes. Most of the game will run smoothly on the performance mode. However, games that require advanced graphics architecture will prompt you to switch to compatible mode before their launch. First of all, I am going to define DirectX. DirectX supports sound, music, input, networking and multimedia. On the other hand, the OpenGL is strictly a graphics application programming interface. A major difference is that OpenGL is a cross-platform and DirectX is available only under Windows and Xbox. Now it depends upon your usage whether you are going to use DirectX or OpenGL. Here you can select that. Now here we have the GPU settings, uh, if you are using Nvidia card you can go ahead and select this option. Now scroll down, here we have the most important settings of the performance. Here we will be going to assign the number of cores and RAM to the blue stacks. If you are using low end PC you must select this option assigning one core to the blue stack. As I am using middle range computer, here I am going to select that. If you are using high end PC then you are go ahead and select four cores. You can also assign the custom number of cores to the blue stacks. Once we have done that, now we will be going to assign the random access memory to the blue stack. If you are using low end PC then you must select this option. If you have 2GB RAM, 1GB will be assigned to blue stack. As I have assigned 2GB RAM to the blue stack, if you are using high end PC then you select 3GB RAM. Here we have the notification settings. Here we have the preferences settings. You can change the language and other settings as well from here. And here we have the user data setting. You can also free up the disk space by clicking on that. You can also create a backup of your data. Here we have some advanced settings uh, of your profile. In the shortcut setting, there are all listed shortcuts you can use on your keyboard. Here all the shortcuts have been given, you can use that. So this was all about that how you can optimize blue stacks for the best performance for any gaming. I hope you find this video helpful. Make sure like it and still if you have any question regarding this video, please let me know in the comment section and I will reach you out. Thanks for watching, see you on the next tutorial.